Thank you for joining me for today's video. Mr. Ish here. I hope everyone's having a nice day. Today we will talk about distance and midpoint application with regards to segments. A segment is a line which has a starting point and an end point. So if this right here, segment AB, and it could be in any direction, it could be a up and down, right and left, or diagonal line, but here I'm drawing it as a horizontal line. If supposedly the coordinate point for A is hypothetically minus 5 comma minus 2 and B is like 10 comma 1 you might all be familiar with calculating the distance and the midpoint but let's just very quickly review with this example before I present two applications if this is x1 and this is y1 we'll call this x2 and y2 midpoint abbreviated as MP midpoint Midpoint is actually the middle point of this segment. Exactly right in the center will be our midpoint. So how do you calculate the midpoint? It's always x1 plus x2, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, because the midpoint is in the format of a coordinate set, x and a y, because the midpoint has two values, an x and a y value. And the other one, of course, is y1 plus y2 over 2. And you could calculate this, x1 plus x2 would be a minus 5 plus 10. Minus 5 plus 10 would be a 5, 5 divided by 2 is a 5 or 2. That's the x coordinate of that midpoint. And the y coordinate would be minus 2 plus 1 is a minus 1. Minus 1 divided by 2 would be a minus 1 or 2. So this right here is a midpoint. The distance, which is basically the length of this segment, is a little bit more involved, but it's easy. You take the y, two, y values, y2 minus y1, the difference squared, plus x2 minus x1, the difference squared, and then the square root of all of that. So let's look at this, let's calculate this out. y2 here is a 1, y1 is a minus 2, so it's 1 minus minus 2. See, 1 minus, and then we have the minus 2 of the coordinate, that makes it actually a 3. See, 1 minus minus 2 is a 3, but then we have the square attached to that 3. So it's a 3 square plus. Let's do the x values. x2 is a 10. x1 is a 1. So that's a 10 minus this minus 5, making it a 10 plus 5, which makes it a 15 square. And you can calculate. This would be, I'm going to bring my calculator here. It'll be 3 square plus 225. So that's 9 plus 225. And the answer would be square root of 234. You can always present a decimal answer, or you can simplify this if it is simplifiable. But uh, square root of 234 would be the length of this segment, the distance of this segment. So that's just the distance and midpoint. Let's look at two examples. Let's look at two coordinate pairs. Minus 2, comma, 3, and 2, comma, minus 3. And now these happen to be the endpoints of a diameter for a circle. Our goal over here is to use the distance and the midpoint application to determine the equation of a circle. And we can always review our video, which I've already presented regarding circles. You can actually make, do that review video. But let's look over here. This represents the endpoints of a circle diameter. And the diameter is, of course, a segment because it doesn't continue on for, for forever. It has a starting and an endpoint. So let's graph these points. Let's look at this coordinate over here, minus 2, comma 3. 1, 2, 3. So here's minus 2, comma, 3. Let's look at 2, comma, minus 3. 1, 2, and then going downward, 2, comma, minus 3. Let's make a line over here because this is a segment which represents the diameter. And we can, of course, we are talking about circles. So we can just do a rough circle, just draw a rough circle. It doesn't have to be too, uh, too standard in terms of the drawing quality. But we want to determine the equation of this circle. And you know the circle has a center and it has a radius. So we have to use the distance and the midpoint to determine the center and the radius. The first thing we want to do is determine the center. Why? Because the center is the same as the midpoint. The midpoint of that segment, which is the midpoint of the diameter, is also the center of that circle. So let's use the midpoint formula and determine that center. I'm going to write MP for midpoint, but I'm going to write it's equal to C because I know the midpoint is going to represent my center. And let's do it. We know it's x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is a 0 divided by 2. That's fine, we get a 0. And then we also know it's y1 plus y2 divided by 2. 
3 plus minus 3 divided by 2 is a 0 divided by 2 and it's a 0. So we know automatically our center is right here. The midpoint of this segment with the diameter goes right here through the origin. And just by knowing this, we know we're looking at an equation of a circle that is represented by this format. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, a center at the origin. All we have to do now is determine the radius. And how can we determine the radius? Well, we just have to calculate the length of this segment, which is the diameter. And we know diameter is always twice the radius. So let's start by using the distance formula to determine the length of that diameter. And the distance formula, as I've shown you previously, is a y2 minus y1 whole square plus x2 minus x1 whole square. So let's plug in these coordinates. Here's x1, y1, x2, y2. So it's y2 minus y1 minus 3 minus 3. And then it's a square plus x2 minus x1, 2 minus minus 2, 2 minus minus 2 square. So what are we getting over here? Minus 3 minus 3 is a minus 6. Minus 6 square is a 36. And what do we have over here? 2 minus minus 2 is a 4. 4 square is a 16. All we have to do now is just complete this. What's 36 plus 16? 6 plus 6 is a 12 carry 1. It's a 52, root 52. But we can simplify root 52 because 4 goes in here 13 times. So it'll be 2 root 13. 2 root 13. And this simplifies to 2 square root 13. But this here represents the distance or the diameter. And we know the radius is equal to a diameter over 2. Half of the diameter is a radius. So what's 2 root 13 divided by 2? It's basically just thir uh, root 13. Because these 2's will cancel out. We'll be left with the radius of root 13. All we have to do now is plug this root 13 right in here. And we will have our final equation form. And it will be this x squared plus y squared is equal to the square of this number. Remember it's r squared. We have r is equal to root 13, but what's the square of root 13? It's root 13 times root 13, which is just 13 because a square root will be eliminated with this square. So here's our equation for this circle. x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. Having these coordinates as the diameter, endpoints, midpoint is to the origin and the diameter was 2 root 13. So this was just an application. We'll look at one more example using a similar format, a similar type of question and that'll be the end of this video. Let's look at this example 4 comma 2 and minus 6 comma minus 4. These two coordinate sets represent the ends of a diameter for a circle. Rather than drawing this out first, let's work towards an equation, then we can draw the graph at the end. We will use a midpoint formula here again to represent the center of the circle. And we know the formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. All we have to do is just solve it out and we will get our center. Here will be 4 plus minus 6 divided by 2. It's a minus 2 divided by positive 2. We get a minus 1. Here we have a 2 plus minus 4, which is a minus 2 divided by this positive 2. We'll get a minus 1. And this right here is our midpoint of this segment, but it is also our center of the circle. And we know the center of the circle is represented by h comma k. So now we know we have translation in this. It's no longer a center at the origin. It is a circle that has shifted horizontally and vertically. So we are looking at an equation which will look like this. x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. And I've presented these in the circle videos already posted. Our next goal, because we already have h and k, we'll plug those in at the end. Our next goal should be to calculate the radius. But we can only calculate the radius by determining the length of this segment. And we'll use a distance formula for that. And let's do it. The distance here, d for distance or the length or the diameter, the diameter of the segment, is y2 minus y1 whole square. What's y2? Here's my y2 value, minus 4, minus y1, which is this 2 over here, whole square, plus x2 minus x1 whole square, x2 minus 6, minus x1, which is 4 whole square. Now we just have to calculate this out. 
Yeah, we have a minus 4 minus 2 is a minus 6, whole square is a 36. Minus 6 minus 4 is a minus 10, but square of that is 100. So we are getting a root of 136. This looks like a number which might actually be simpl simplifiable because I believe 4 will go in 136. If we do 136 and we divide it by 4, we get a 34. So 136 is the same thing as 4 times 34. But you can bring the 2 out because it's a perfect square. So our diameter or the length of this segment is a 2 root 34. We just have to calculate the radius. The radius is always the half of the diameter. The half will eliminate this coefficient 2 and will be left with 34 root. Because the 2 will cancel out with the denominator 2 of the radius formula. And we have everything we need now to generate our final equation. Our final equation I'm going to show you right over here. We're going to write this in the proper format using the h and the k and the radius. Our h and k values are mentioned right over here. So it's going to be x minus this minus 1 is going to become a plus 1. See, we no longer have a minus h over here, we'll have a plus h. Plus y minus minus 1 will become a y plus 1 whole square is equal to the square of root 34, which is just 34 because you're going to put this square root into this square and it'll eliminate the radical and make it an even number. And you can imagine how the graph might turn out. The graph would be like this, not drawn to scale. You have a center at minus 1, comma, minus 1, which is right over here. Here's my center. And now we need to have an idea of how much this root, uh, this root 34 really entails. Like, what does it really mean? If you square root of 34, it is almost a 5.8. You can draw a circle over here, but from this dot to this, the radius is almost 5.8, almost 5.8 units, or which is root 34, okay? On all directions from this center, you'll be root 34 distance away. So that'll be like a rough diagram with the center at minus one comma minus one. So this is how we can use midpoint and distance formulas in terms of coordinate geometry. Please like and share this video with others and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.